Our study this afternoon is going to be a continuation of our exposition on the book of Ezekiel, chapter 16. Today we are going to start from verse 44 up to verse, up to verse 6, 46 going onward. And in these verses, we are going to see as the mother is, so is the daughter. Uh, and these verses, they go like this. I start reading. Behold, everyone that uses Proverbs shall use this proverb against thee, saying, as the mother, so is her daughter. Thou art thy mother's daughter that loatheth her husband and her children. And thou art the sister of thy sisters which loatheth their husbands and their children. Your mother was an Hittite and your father an Amorite. And thine elder sister is Samaria. She and her daughter that dwell at thy left hand. Sorry. And thine elder sister is Samaria. She and her daughter that dwell at thy left hand. And thy younger sister that dwelleth at thy right hand is Sodom and her daughters. Read verse 44 in Kiswahili. Inasema, tazama, kila mtu atumiae medhari atatumia medhari hii kinyume chako. Akisema, kama mama ya mtu alivyo, ndivyo alivyo binti yake. Yes. In these verses, it is further description of the church of Israel. This, you remember, were the chosen people of God. They were taken from the heathens. God made a covenant with these people. And they become, they became the children of God. But as we have read throughout our exposition, we have seen how this church left their husband, who is God their savior, or who was God their savior, and then they turned unto other gods. And as we have seen, that church became a whole or a harlot. And the whole is whereby the church is no longer married to one God, or God is not their husband only. They had another lover. And that's why it, it came to a point that this church, Ezekiel, has been referring this church in this chapter 16 as a whole or a harlot. So when you come to these verses, uh, when he says this proverb will cease, everyone Everyone that uses Proverbs shall use this proverb against thee. You see, everyone that uses and uses Proverbs shall use this proverb against thee, saying, as is the mother, so is her daughter. So this is a proverb which has been, you know, it has been said since time immemorial people have used that proverb 
So here Isaiah is telling them, whoever can use this proverb, whoever it can fit, you are the one. This one, this proverb, will fit you exactly because you are like that. Because you are like that. So the point here now is to understand why does God say as the mother is, so is the daughter. So we need to understand this proverb because there are meanings why the mother here is like the daughter. And this one And this one, the mother here, as we have seen, the mother is a lewd, idolatrous, bloody, rebellious, and the daughter is such. So, who is this mother? Who is this, who is this mother? Where, whereby the daughter has learned from the mother because here God is referring unto the church of Israel church of Israel and this church being in covenant with God we want to see how it came about and how it became a harlot so that we can understand this proverb in it right understanding. Sasawa. Mm -hmm. Her mother here is said to be an Hittite. Her mother here is said to be a Hittite. And her mother, her father, an Amorite. And this she was so unlike to Sarah and Abraham out of whose loins by nature she came and so like the Amorites and Hittites as that the Lord called her the daughter of them so why are they called the daughter of the father their father is Hittite Is it so? The father is Hittite and the mother is? So the, ma the, the mother is Hittite? The mother is Hittite? That's the mother? And the father is Amorite? So that is... So the father is the Amorite, as you have said. You remember there was a verse we did in this chapter about why God called them so. And that verse is which verse? Let us see. That is verse 3. Verse 3 of this chapter 16. It says, And say, Thus says the Lord God unto Jerusalem, Thy birth and thy nativity is of the land of Canaan. Thy father was an Amorite, and thy mother an Hittite. You remember we did that exposition. But for the sake of clarity, I want to just to explain it a bit. This, the children of Israel, they were children of Abraham. And Sarah. And you will find that they themselves, they knew that their father was Abraham. And it was true. And I told you, here God is saying that their father was an Amorite. And their mother was a Hittite. Meaning, when people are called, and I, we did that exposition, 
when you are called out of darkness or when you are called into a church you you are a heathen or naturally you are wicked you are wicked then when you are called into a covenant with God that is the time you are washed and that's why he said in verse 4 the same 16 as for thy nativity in the day that that in the day thou was born that is 16 4 in the day thou was born thy navel was cut and thy yeah, sorry thy in the day thou was born thy navel navel was not cut neither was thou washed in water to sup with thee thou was not salted at all nor swaddled at all i did that and i told you when you are called or when you enter to a church or when you become a christian in most cases we say when you are born again when you are born again into christ, into, into christ jesus you are yani you are now there because here is the the point where it is your navel is not cut meaning though you have become a christian but still by nature you are still e evil. evil you don't just become completely cut off your navel is still you are still connected with the world there are still connection it doesn't mean because you have become a Christian and you say you are born again then that, that everything now has changed. No. There is a lot which is going to be done unto you before truly you become a regenerated Christian. There are many things. So here God was telling them you, you are nativity because by nature though you are children of Abraham but by nature your father was an Amorite because an Amorite was a heathen. A Hittite, yani, you are yani, Hittites were heathen. Meaning you are you are as wicked as a as an Amorite. Because you, there was no different. Though I made a covenant with your father Abraham. Though your father was you, you, are, you, you came out of Sarah, though Sarah was righteous before God, it doesn't mean because you are born in Sarah's in Abraham family, by nature you are righteous. Internally you are righteous. That's what he is telling them there. By nature, you are not righteous as Abraham was. So, you might be called the children of Abraham, but if until the time Abraham was called, or the church of Israel was made the church of God, you have ended up being exactly of the father. You, you had all the time, your father was a Hittite your mother was a Hittite and your father was an Amorite meaning by nature you are wicked like any other people you could not say because Abraham was righteous then I was righteous no that's not the case and to put it in a better way let us say in this present generation if I'm a Christian and I have children, if truly, if truly I'm born again Christian and Christ is my Lord, it doesn't mean my children can claim the same reward or benefit. No. I might be their father a righteous father but when it comes to the we and to their nature i'm not their father because we are different 
Are you together? Because you might be righteous and your children are not righteous. righteous. So it doesn't mean because I'm righteous, then you, 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 you can claim that. So that's why God is telling them, I took yani, yani, uh, those, your father, Abraham, yes, I called him. And you are children of Abraham. But by nature, you are not like uh, Abraham. Because you are wicked, like the Hittite or an Amorite. That's the way you are. So if by being of that covenant of God with the church of Israel, if that covenant you are not washed and cleansed, cleansed or and regenerated so that you could truly become the children of Abraham or Israel, then your father is who? Amorite and, 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 he, and he tight. You have no, you cannot claim anything. And in fact, that point, many people have made a mistake, even in this generation. People, because they don't understand what regeneration is, they just believe on external member membership of a church. Just that. But they don't know you might belong to a church and yet you are a wicked person. Because being wicked here means you are not regenerated. You are still a heathen. You are still a heathen because you are not regenerated. So that heathen, that person who has never been a church member and you, you are the same. Because an Israelite could claim that he was of the root of Abraham. But in actual sense, when you come to the spiritual understanding or the spirituality of, of Abraham, they were not children. And that's why even when Paul came, let us see it in Romans. Romans chapter 9. Romans chapter 9, which says, verse 1, I say the truth in Christ. I lie not, my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost, that I have heaviness and continuous sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that my, myself were accursed from Christ, my brethren, from Christ for, and for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites. I want you to listen here. To whom pertained the adoption and the glory and the covenant and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises, whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh, Christ came, who is of our God blessed forever. That was Israelite. But now, Paul here is now saying the same thing that Ezekiel here is saying. Look here. Six. Not as though the word of God has taken none effect. For they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. That's the same thing that here we are learning of the Hittite and Amorite. These children, and the Israelite at that time, they thought that during the time of Ezekiel, they thought that they were better than heathen. But Ezekiel is telling them the same thing that Paul is telling them here. Only the fashion of telling it is the one which is different. But if you are keen enough, you can see Seven, neither because they are, they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. You see, neither because they are seed of Abraham are they all children. So these people, the, the Jews during, during the time of Abraham, sorry, during the time of uh, Paul, they could not believe it, what Paul was teaching. And at the same time, the Jews during the time of Ezekiel also, they could not believe it. How could you say our father was an Amorite and um, our mother was an Hittite and yet we know our father was uh, Abraham. It was, it, was a very, it was a very hard thing for them to, to understand 
Just the same way, during the time of, Mo, of Paul, it was also ha- hard. But this is the same, uh, they are talking of the same thing, because people, it is like now, they are not all of Christ, who says Christ is the Lord? Is, is the, the Lord. Lord. It's the same thing. They are not all of Christ, who says Christ is the Lord. There are many who will never see heaven, but they the church claiming that Jesus Christ is their Lord. It's the same thing. I hope now we understand there. So what about her sisters? Her sisters were one was Samaria. Samaria here, you remember during the time of Jeroboam, the church of Israel was divided into two. The 12 tribes were divided into 10 and two tribes. The 10 tribe went under Jeroboam. Were under Jeroboam. And the two tribes, that is Benjamin and Judah, were under Rehoboam. We have did that, we have done that in detail in our exposition on the book of Hosea. So here, you will find that the ten tribe are the one who, who, here, who are called the Samaria. And now, this under which now, or these who are in Jerusalem now, Remember, Samaria, or the ten tribe, went into captivity unto Assyria 100 years before this time. If you read that history, you'll see. It's of 100 years before, before this time now, Ezekiel is talking of, of Jerusalem. So this Samaria or this ten tribe who went into captivity because of iniquity, the same way this, these two tribes who, who are Benjamin and Judah are going to go to captivity, these first ten tribe are the Samaria are her sister. Are you together? That's why he says, Thou art thy mother's daughter that loathed her husband and her children, and thou art the sister of thy sisters. You are the sister of thy sisters. So the first sister here is Samaria. Are you together? Mm-hmm. And you can see, he says, thou art sister of thy sisters which loathed their husbands and their children. Your mother was a Hittite and your father an Amorite. You see, that one we have seen. So a sister here is the one we want to see. The first sister here is the Samaria. What about the second sister? It was Sodom. Are you together? So this was the city where Lot dwelt, which was so young, which was given to filthiness and uncleanness. Sasawa. So this daughter, this Yani, these sisters, the Samaria is a sister. And Sodom is a sister. Why are they sister of this Jerusalem? One thing we have seen that Samaria is that ten tribes who also rebelled against God. You remember Jeroboam was the first one to build uh, new temples. One at Dan and the other one at Bethel. You remember that? So they rebelled and they formed another worship different from that which was in Jerusalem. So Judah was left 
and the Samaria were taken to captivity. That means God dispated that church. Sodom is also a sister. Why? Because uh, we all come the, the, it's also a sister because Sodom was part of the ancient church. It was part of the ancient church. That means even Sodom, before it became Sodom, was also a, cha a church. Because I have told you, there is no one time, even what we call, those whom we call heathen, God in this world, in the time of Adam, he started a church. Those who become oh yeah, those who become heathen are those who who lose the word of God or the truth is lost and they they, they forget about God. But we all started as a church. It is a church which has gone on revolving. So even Sodom was part of a church before it became Sodom. It's only that they degenerated to that level whereby it became a filthy city. And you remember, even in Sodom, who was staying in Sodom? Lot. Who was Lot? The wife. It was, he was a brother to who? To Abraham. to Abraham. So you can see, not that Lot... Not that Sodom was not a church. It was. It had some light, but it had lost completely. So when he say, you are sisters, he is referring to Samaria and, so, and Sodom. Because they, they were once part of the church, and now you also, you are sister to them. You are sister to them. You are not different. Because your mother was an Amorite and your father was an, an, an Hittite. And when you go to Sodom, Sodom was occupied by who? Who are, who are there? There were 12 tribes and these 12 tribes in Sodom, yani, uh, these two, Amorite and Hittite, were there? Wow. Were there in Sodom. So when he's telling them, he knows why he's saying so. It's because even this Sodom those who dwelt in Sodom were the Hittites and the, Am the Amorite. You remember when God said that the children of Israel, you are going to occupy Canaan when the Amorite cup is full. And remember Sodom was where? In, Ka in, in Canaan. So this tribe occupied Canaan even before Abraham went there. The Hittite and Amorite were there. So, and these Hittite and Amorite, if you study them, you will find that they are the children of Canaan. The son of who? Ham. Which means, they also, sometime after the flood, they also were part of who? Were part, yeah, were part of the church of who? Of God. Of Noah. The church of Noah. The church which was started by Noah. So when he is saying so, he knows why God is saying so. He, 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 he is referring, he is looking at things in a, in a, in, from very far. So that for those who have eyes, they can understand these things. Let us read Deuteronomy 18.9. Deuteronomy 18.9. Sema. Utakapo kuisha kuingia katika nchi akupayo bwana mungu wako usijifunze kutenda kwa mfano wa machukizo ya mataifa yale. That is it. So now here it is when the children of Israel went into Sodom. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of this, those nations. 10. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire or that uses divination or an observer of time or enchanter of witch. So you can see 
in the throne of Israel in the when you go to the land of Can of Canaan. Mm -hmm. So you can see these people already they had learned this doctrine of drawing their children at to unto the fire. Yeah. So who are yani, if when God is telling them if you go to that land, meaning when the children of Israel were going to the land of Canaan, there were people dwelling there who were doing that. Who are they? They were the Amorite and the and the Hittites. So if they were doing that before they went there, that's why God is cautioning these people not to do as these people are doing. But you'll find that afterward, even after the Amorites were dead and gone, the Jews came to do the same 100 years or 200 years after. They did what the Hittites were doing. Oh, were doing. So when God is referring them unto your sisters, so you can see why Samaria was their elder sister and Sodom was also a, si a sister. Because they are doing exactly the same. So it is it is the right of the word to call them to, to, to say Sodom was their sister. Otherwise they, are doing, they were doing the same. Samaria was their sister because it was the ten tribe and they were among them. And even Sodom was part of them because they are doing exactly like their sister. That's why now they were called two sisters. I wanted you to get that. When you read Leviticus 18.25, it says, And the land is defiled. That is the land of Canaan. And the land is defiled. Therefore, I do visit the iniquity thereof upon it. And the land itself permitted out her inhabitant. That was the land of Canaan before the children of Israel went there. Those who were being permitted here were the Amorite and the Hittite. When you read 28, it says that the Lord spew not you also out also. Zikia. Don't do as them that the Lord spew not you out also when you de defile it. As it is spewed out the nations that were before you. So it's the same land of Canaan. They are being told, take care. Otherwise, this, this land is going to spew you out. As it is spewed out the Hittites and the Ammonites. And, Amorite. and you can see now, it is about to spew them out. Because very soon, they are going to go to captivity. So I, I, wanted, I want us to see where the Holy Spirit of God is driving us to, to look at the bigger, the bigger sense of this church of Israel. So that we may understand why, like mother, eh? as the mother is, so is the, do is the daughter. So their mother, they, you know, God wants us to, re to refer back so that we can understand all these scenarios. And understand why, like mother, like daughter. So, Jerusalem was come to pass that she rejected God, her husband, and loathed his worship, violated all bonds of religion and humanity, sacrificing her children unto devils. So, if you read Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 32, 32 Inasema maana mzabibu wao ni mzabibu wa Sodoma nao ni wa mashamba ya Gomora sabibu zao ni zabibu za uchungu vichwala vyao ni vichungu Yes that is for their rock is not our our rock that were the Canaanite for their rock is not our rock even our enemies themselves being judges. That is true. For their vine is the vine of Sodom and of the field of Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of gar. Their cluster are bitter. Their wine is the poison of dragon and the cruel venom of asip. 
Let us see Isaiah 1.10. Isaiah 1.10. Tisikieni neno la Bwana enyi waamuzi wa Sodom. Tegeni masikio msikie sheria ya Mungu wetu enyi watu wa Gomora. So here God is not talking to people of Sodom. He is talking to who? To the church? To the church. To the church of Israel. Hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom. Give ear unto the law of our God, you people of Gomorrah. 11. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifice? So, here you can see, he is not talking of the Sodom. It is the children of Israel who have become, who have become like Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah. Ambao wa meiga. Walikuwa meiga, mfano wa Sodom and Gomorrah. So here when he, when Ezekiel is saying Isaiah. like mother like the son when we say it is Samaria and Sodom mm. people might think no it is not the same it is these people they had become like Sodom a church when has it has lost the truth it is like Sodom it becomes like Sodom and Go, Gomorrah. Gomorrah there is no different to what purpose is your sacrifice what purpose is your worship and when your internal is of this world, you are thinking evil, it is evil, like Sodom. So that's what the word of God is. So these people, they never, they could not understand. And in fact, even when Ezekiel was reading this scripture unto these people of Israel, many of them could not believe it. How could they be likened unto the people of Sodom? And Gomorrah, and yet they were the church. There's a problem with every church in any generation. It always thinks that it is the best. Even when it has lost everything, that it's like its mother, that is evil. It believes that it is doing good and is the church of God. The Jews were transformed into their natures, dispositions, customs. Samaria was her left was was her left hand. That was the north part. And Sodom at her right hand, which was the south part. It was at, it was in between. That means at the end of one time, we have three powers. A Christian is surrounded by two powers which are very strong. When you come to the three principles, we have the first, which is, which is the dark nature, or hell, or the devil himself. He is pulling you. We have another one, which is this world. This world also has another power. You are at the center. And both these two are your sister. They are your sister. Because when you come to the dark nature, you have part of that nature in you. Are you together? Mm. When you come to this world, the body of this world, the spirit of this world, you are also part of that. Part of that. So you are in between these two sisters. They are each pulling you. They are, each, they are each pulling you. And each is a religion of its own. Sodom was a religion of its own. Samaria also was a religion. And it has its power. That's, a, that's the way we are. So a Christian is walking in between these two powers. The dark nature or the spirit of the devil or hell. That is the fire side. There is the spirit of this world also, which is pulling you. Sometimes if you are lucky, you are at the center, and Christ as a, as, as a center is making you to stand. It did now depend on which side you are going to fall. On which side you are going to fall. One thing, the spirit of this world is going to to disappear one day when you die. 
then you'll be left with it two. That is the, the dark side and the spirit of Christ. So where will you fall between these two? That's a big question. Where, will you, where when you leave this body, which side will you fall? The dark nature or the light nature of Christ when you, look, when you leave this body? Are you together? So it is just the same that here were two power, the Sodom and Samaria. They were the power which were holding these people. They had all the evil of Sodom and Samaria. They had inherited these two sisters. So when the state of churches, when states, churches, cities, persons dishonor God by sinful and lewd ways, God will dishonor them and set them and set men to work that are skillful at and exercise and exercises in jeering upon them or scoffing and referring to disgrace them. I repeat, when the state, states or churches dishonor God by sinful and lewd way, God will dishonor them. God will, will dishonor them as he is about to do to this church of Israel. He is just trying, even when he is telling them this proverb of as the mother, as, 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 as the mother is, so is the, is the daughter. This is just a matter of a reminder that you, you think you are better. But this proverb to you now, it is real. So you come at the Rwanda party. Yeah. This proverb to you, it is real. See what? 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 See this proverb is exactly working on you. Sasa. So, things were now going to go as per the will of God. Because these people, they were extremely gone in the wrong direction. Jeremiah 24, verse 9. Nasema. Naam, nitawatoa watupwe huko na huko katika falme zote za dunia wapate mabaya wawe kitu cha kulaumiwa na medhari na bihaka na laana katika mahali pote nitakapo wafukuza Yes and I'll deliver them to be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth for their heart you see, for their heart, you are finding Waumi to be a reproach and a proverb, a taunt and a curse in all places whither I shall drive them. Why are they going to be a proverb? You see, Sababu, what a proverb was a what a na kumbuka yarambayo. Mama yao alikuwa amefanya nini? Yeah. Ameyafanya. Yeah. Hmm. If there is a good example like the father at the stand, you look at the children of it, Israel. Hmm. So there will be like a proverb. They will be remembered like a proverb. This proverb will be remembered. Yani, it's as if God is saying, and to the future generation who will come, they will learn from you. You remain a, pro, a proverb. Hmm. Who are these people? Because God has said, I'll scatter them all over the world for their heart. So if they are going to be hurt, people will say, who are these people? Kwa nini? Kwa nini ya watu wanaumia hivi? Waliumizwa hivi. Kwa nini waliumizwa hivi? Na kilikuwa kisasi cha mungu. Kilikuwa kisasi cha mungu. So, meaning, we shall learn from them. Are we learning from them truly? No. We are learning, but, but few understand yeah. why why it happened unto them as it happened so.
wengi tunasoma kama story tu we just people read it as a story they don't get the, the deeper meaning of what god wants us to learn from them let us read chronicle 7:20 second chronicle 7:20 sema ndipo nitawangoa katika inchi yangu nilio wapa na nyumba hii nilio itakaza kwa jina langu nitaiondosha itoke mbele zangu nami nitaifanya kuwa medhari na tukano katikati ya watu wote yes then we like plug them up by the roots by the roots out of my land which i have given them and this house which i have certified for my name will i cast out of my sight and will be and will make it to be a proverb and a byword among all nations has it has it been that yes, yes. i'll make the byword we learn about the temple of solomon we learn about these things. we hear about them we learn about these people so they have become a proverb in the whole world we only talk about the temple of solomon that there was a beautiful temple this temple was destroyed by nebuchadnezzar you see then now god is telling them i'll make a pro proverb proverb all over the nations for you to be known all over the nation sometimes i pity the new testament church why because they don't understand these things they don't see that they are sitting in the same category that the things are going to be exactly what it happened to the children of israel we are not better the only difference is that we have different dispensations that was old testament and this is a new, new testament. testament but the same god so what happened to this church and it became a proverb even in the new testament church will also be a pro a proverb it will become a proverb but people don't know few few understand and few they don't want to know if you read jeremiah 23:40 jeremiah 23:40 Inasema Nami nitaleta juu yenu aibu ya milele na fedhea ya daima ambayo haitasahauliwa That is it. and I bring an everlasting reproach upon you and a perpetual shame which shall not be forgotten Has it ever been forgotten No oh. It is even written in the scripture a perpetual shame that these people they were people of god there was a, it was a church of god they had a covenant with god but it ended in a very worst manner you, you can think of and it happened so and this was a church and these people they were they had a lot of pride with this church they were saying the church of god the church of god but God is saying it will I'll make an everlasting shame shame because you have done as your mother did as the mother is so is the dog that proverb has happened happened to these people sasa hapo ndio mwalimu unaona shida inakuwa katika hiki kisasi cha sasa tukisoma sisi tunaona hayo yalifanyika hiyo wakati na wao ndio waliaibishwa <laughs> tunajisahau ya kwamba hata sisi tukienenda katika hiyo njia vile wao walienenda hata sisi tutapatikana katika yes. hii katika hii aibu that is it they have same Sio proverb kitu ambayo iliandikwa ya kwamba ni proverb ili tujifunze tu hivyo tuache ikae hivyo ni ile tujifunze na tu, tu tufuate njia turekebike turekebike tuingie katika mstari ambao Mungu anataka that is it Ezekiel 22 verse 5 Toma inasema zilizo karibu na zilizo mbali nawe sitaku 
sitaku di haki ewe mchafu ule ule uliye ja fujo <laughs> you get it <laughs> first four start say thou art become guilty in thy blood that thou hast shed and hast defiled thyself in thine idols which thou hast made and thou hast caused thy days to draw near and art come even unto thy years therefore have i made thee a reproach unto the heathen and a mocking to all countries five those that that be near and those that be far from thee shall mock thee which are infamous and much those that are be far from thee shall mock thee which art infamous and much fixed you can see yeah the same water he'll make them yeah he'll be yeah they'll be made a reproach unto all nations and that's what happened when these people went to captivity there was nothing left they could do they went under Caridians and they could do everything that those people wanted them to do remember a people who had their own nation a people who had their own church you know people have never thought about that it is like our country kenya then there comes a people they occupy this place or not even kenya the best people are taken captive by ugandans or somalians and all your farms are left and those people from somalia or from that country they come and occupy that land of yours then you go to live in captivity for the rest of your life so you can imagine how painful it was how painful it was with these people people who had stood all their time are uh, boasting that they were the children of god they were the church and this was the church of god so it, the same thing it is going to happen in the new testament we don't know how it will be but it will come to pass that god will do they will become a proverb at a future genera- generation even if it is not this world even even in heaven there will be a proverb in the world to come in the world to come those who are in in near relation to god and think well of themselves may be hateful to him and as bad as any those who are in near relation to god that means those who are who belong to who belong to the house of god to the house of god because of their parent or because of the covenant you know by by the virtue of the covenant we can say they are near unto god because when you come to to the church you have agreed to be a member or to be under who under christ am am under god but here you might be very near unto god but at the same time you hate him <laughs> you hate him yes you hate him those who are in near relation to god and think well of themselves may be hateful to him and as bad as any Okay. Jerusalem was in covenant with God. In spouse, the Jews were his peculiar people and thought themselves more holy, righteous, in a better condition than any other of all nations. And thought the prophet wronged them and thought the prophets wronged them when they compared and compared them to the nations. Mm. They thought that the prophet wronged them when they compared them to the, the nations to Sodom and Samaria. Wakajiona kwamba 
ma prophets wamewakosea sana wanakosea sana kuwafananisha na Sodom na yaani na, 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 na Samaria na Samaria walikuwa wanaona vibaya sana wakiwa waki compare na watu kama hao na lakini walikuwa wanaambiwa ukwe walikuwa wanaambiwa ukwe it is like this present generation you, you cannot tell them the truth they will hate you so Jerusalem was an encounter with God yes and though the prophet wronged them when they compare them to the nations to Sodom and Samaria but what says the lord here lakini mungu anasema namna gani thy mother is a hitite and thy father an amorite lakini mungu anawaambia your mother and father now are the hitite and a amorite nikumanisha you are no different from heathen sasa ndio mungu sasa ataka kuambia ukweli macho hii jina mnasema ati at the children of israel hiyo ni hiyo ni yenu nyinyi ni nyinyi ni mama zenu mama yenu ni hitite hitite na baba yenu ni amorites ndikana kama tataka kuambia you cannot even be called by the name of my my servant abraham hamwezi kuwa watoto wa yani my servant abraham ama israel you cannot be lakini wao walikuwa nakatari nakataria ni kama saa hii wakati Christ anasema wakati the word of God nasema the church when we read the book of revelation tunaambiwa the church has become an antichrist people start pointing finger to some individual not themselves they even go to the church and start learning about antichrist as if it's somebody ako very far lakini nyinyi muko sa muko sawa forgetting that the word of God is talking about you wewe uko kwa hiyo kanisa ambaye haujielewi you have become an antichrist lakini sio vile wewe unafikiria atuseme ati sasa ati oh hii antichrist ni nini you must understand the truth so god was telling them thy mother is a hitite and hitite and thy father an amorite whatever thou thinkest of thyself that thou art of the stock of Abraham and Sarah Isaac and Jacob a true Israelite yet it is otherwise thou art the seed of the nations and worst of the nations these the Hittites and Amorites you think that you are holy but you are profane you are not holy before me i compare them to the amorites hivyo ndio mungu anawaambi anawaambia so ndio kana kama nataka kuambia if i destroyed amorite when the cup of evil became full and nyinyi mmekuwa kama kama amorite mnaangojea nini sasa hata nyinyi mnatakiwa kufanywa nini kuharibiwa kuharibiwa that's what he's telling them yeah if i destroyed amorite because the cup or the cup of their wickedness was full What about you? Na yenu imejaa. Na yenu naye imejaa na mmekuwa kama Amorite. Nataka kukuambia sasa nyinyi mmekuwa kama nani? Your mother is Amorite. Sasa na your father ni Hittite. Na wale niliwabomoa kwa sababu ya ya dhambi. Na nyinyi tena mmekuwa exactly kama wao. Kama wao, kama your mother. Kwa hivyo nanyi mnangojea. Sasa kuharibiwa. Ni, kuharibiwa. Hivyo ndio anawaambia ni vile hawakuelewa. Lakini sasa wao wanachukua ya kwamba <laughs> kwa sababu sisi ni taifa la Mungu. <laughs> Si, mbona tunafananishwa na na, 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 na na wale hapo eh. tunakosewa hapo huyu hawa tunakosewa nini na wa prophets na ni kama saa hii if you say that all the leaders of the church today wamekuwa corrupt they are antichrist atakata they are they, yani, they are preach they are hypocrites watakata watasema hapana ndio unatuharibia jina ukisema the church this church is also going to be destroyed wanasema hapana hakuna kani mungu hazi mungu hazi bomoa kanisa lake wewe unakose unakosea and even you can be stoned watu waone hapana unaongea nini but that is what is going to happen that's what is going to happen so the priest were near the lord stood before him offered sacrifices though themselves to be something different let us read malak 2 1 and 
inasema na sasa enyi makuhani amri hii ya wausu nyinyi kama hamtaki kusikia na kama hamtaki kuitii mo, kuitia moyoni ili kulitukuza jina langu asema bwana wa majeshi basi nitawaperekeeni rahana nami nitali nita zirahani baraka zenu naam nimekwisha kuzirahani kwa sababu hamuyati haya moyoni you see this now the priest who near the lord stood before him offered sacrifices though themselves to be somebody some other disbodies they were not with god that's why god is saying in this malak malaki 2:1 and 2 and now o ye priests this commandment is for you if you will not hear and if you will not lay it to heart to give glory unto my name says the lord the lord of hosts i will even set a curse upon you and i'll curse your blessings yeah i have cursed them already because you do not lay it to heart so you can imagine i wish the pastors those people who have taken charge in this church in this present church today would read this and understand so matatu tatu 3 behold i will corrupt your seed and spread dung upon your faces even the dung of your solemn feasts and one shall take you away with it very serious hmm if you not now he is talking of the preachers preachers those who stand before the congregant to teach the word of god So if you're not going to you know here he, he, he is very specific because he's saying if you'll not hear and if you'll not lay to heart to give glory unto my name my name not your name my name because here God is saying his name when you say name here he means God you can only glorify God if you teach the truth because Christ Jesus is the way and the truth the and the truth. truth so if you can preach the truth or the, the you teach things the truth as it is in Jesus Christ you right. teach it in the spirit of god then you glorify the name of who of the name god. of god but if you teach the letter if you teach the letter without the spirit of god you don't glorify god you glorify yourself yes, yourself sir. So what will he do? He says, if you'll not hear and you'll not hear and if you'll not lay it to heart to give glory unto my name, says the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you and I'll curse your blessings. I'll send a curse upon you. So what is a curse? A curse that means a curse means when those people who have taken charge of this house of god if the word of god is not dominant if the good is not going to be dominant because good can only be promoted by the truth by, by the truth, truth then he is going to get a curse meaning evil is going to take to over take in a nation so which means why we have seen that evil spread from father uh, and to the son the first up, up to the third genera- generation. generation that means when the good or the yani the pastors or the yani those who are in the church lose the gospel then it means the world Let's say a nation evil is going to take over and we are going to receive curses 
When we say curses here, what are the curses? Curses, and the, and the first sign of curses of God are diseases. Diseases are the curses. Isn't you work in the nation of the car? The curses. Mogodua. Yenasa kufamia watu from all sides. Different diseases. Chronic diseases. Ambayo sinaingia. That means, he, the word of God, waka inabebana sana. When you lose the truth, if you take over, it is like a vacuum. When you remove water, when you remove some the air, there must be something which is occupying which is which is occupying that place. So that's why God is saying, I your blessing, I will turn their blessing to be okay. curses. Which are these blessings? Which are these blessings? It is this worldly good. Goods. You know, here God is as if God is saying, because you don't understand the blessings, I want you to get this. You pastors, you are teaching blessings, but these blessings that we are teaching are not the true blessings. Mm -hmm. You are teaching about blessings, you are telling people that of prosperity, yes. This prosperity that we are telling people about, they are going to have them because they are the things of this world. Are you together? Mm. But they are going to be curses. Sakuwa curse. But that's the was idea. But that's was idea. Sitakuwa zinawaumiza. Sitakuwa sitakuwa zinawaumiza. They are going to be curses. Because that is not what is of the kingdom of God. You have lost the word. You have lost the gospel. Then you are preaching falsity, whereby through this falsity you are praising, you are you are preaching of blessing which are of force, and these blessings are not blessing per se. They are ca curses. Even if one they are curses because the good which is a blessing has already disappeared. Disappear. Disappeared. So what we are teaching is false. Then it's not a blessing at all. There's no blessing there. You are going to have curses. And that's why if you, you go to many houses, in fact, diseases like, like cancer has become, you, you, I don't know, any type, you, you, you see, whether rich or poor, even the rich are the most affected. But when you go to when you go to that rich person, when he go to the church, he is going to yearn to thank God that he is blessed with things of this world. Because the pastor is telling you so. But God is saying, I'll turn your blessing into curses because these are not my blessings. Those people who are going to follow you. Wale ambao watawafuata kwa sababu watasikia ati yaani you are blessing people mujue your blessing are going to be curses in those generation has to be a blessing behold verse 3 behold i will corrupt your seed i will corrupt your seed hapa sasa usifikie ati ati ni seed ya 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 nini the congregant wanna listen the preacher the preacher is sowing seed. The word of God is seed. It's a seed. It is a seed. So whether it is the truth or false, it is a seed. It's a, it's a seed. Nimbego na panda. Kama ni uongo itamia kwa pego ya nini? Ya uongo. Sasa ni hivyo na maanisha. Kama itakuwa ni pego ya uongo itakuwa ni pego ya uongo. Because it's a sema, behold, I will corrupt your seed and spread down upon your faces even the dung of your solemn feasts spread dance in your faces dung in nini kinyesi kinyesi cha ngombe kinyesi cha ngombe ni kumaanisha even dung in your faces ni kumaanisha yani yale yote katika feast si unaona feast feast is is ni kumaanisha ni yale mipango ya kanisa watu wanapa watu wanapanga Ini pango yote ya kanisa kwa sababu begu ni mbaya eh itakuwa ni kama kupaka watu kinye? kinyeshi kinyeshi 
Sijui kama unaona. <laughs> Unajua sometimes God hujaribu kuleta watu ndio waone kuwaingia ndio waone kabisa hapa hakuna kitu mnafanya. Yaani hiyo seed mnapanda pale katika feast ambayo mnaenda ku, kuhubiria watu ati mnapanda begu. Sinaona vile wanasema wanapanda begu. Mm. Hii begu mnasema mnapanda na ni mambo ya nini? Itakuwa ni kama kupaka, kupaka nini? Nyinyi wenyewe <laughs> mtakuwa mmepakwa kinyesi. <laughs> Hata wale ambao mnaenda kuambia eti mnaenda kupanda mbegu kwao hiyo mbegu haifanyi nini haionekani haionekani That is true Behold I'll corrupt your seed and spread dung upon your faces even the dung of your solemn feast and one shall take you away with it Even that dung will war and atawapaka <laughs> In a, yani inaonekana this was the end of these priests which means manake atasema atawapaka kinyesi mpaka hata wasijulikane hata wakati watu wanabebwa you will be taken hata hata waumini wasijue wamebebwa ama ama wameenda wapi ama wamebe, ama wameenda wapi ni kwa sababu hao ndio walikuwa wameharibu Israel hao hubiri walikuwa wameharibu Israel kabisa hmm? walikuwa wameharibu Israel so when you go to the same malak the same malak 28 the same malak 28 inasema namna gani inasema bari nyinyi umegeuka mkaiacha njia umewakwaza watu wengi katika sheria umeliharibu agano la lawi asema bwana wa majeshi yes for the priest sorry uh, eight inasema but you are departed out of the way you have caused many to stumble at the law you have corrupted the covenant of levi save the lord of hosts nine therefore have i also made you contemptible and base before all the people according as you have not kept my ways but have been partial in the law or lifted up the face against sorry therefore have i also made you contemptible at best before all the people according as you have not kept my ways but have been a partial partial in the law they were not impartial they were partial walikuwa wanategemea wanategemea nini upande mmoja upande mmoja hebu soma tisa na Kiswahili Kiswahili nasema kwa sababu hiyo mimi nami nimewafanya nyinyi kuwa kitu cha kudharauriwa na unyonge mbele ya watu wote kama vile nyinyi msifio sishika njia zangu bali mmewapendelea watu katika sheria you see that were that were the preachers walikuwa watu wameegemea upande mmoja it is just like the present generation preacher you will find even in politics instead of preachers those people who are calling themselves the church goers instead of being impartial unakuta wanasimama na upande mmoja na upande mmoja but hakuogea ukweli just because they are given money by the politicians unakuta wanasimama upande mmoja sasa hapa huko ndio nawaambia mimi nami hakuna kitu utashikana nyinyi kwa sababu mmekuwa watu wabaya wanaegemea upande mmoja but a true christian is supposed to stand with the law sheria za Mungu usimame na sheria inasema hivi na usikubali mambo mengine lakini ikiwa nyinyi ni watu ambao hata mnaharibu sheria zangu na ndiye yetu ya call the pre- the preachers and you know na ukienda for seven inasema for the priest lips kulingana na wadhibu sababu inasema for the priest lips should keep no knowledge and they should seek the law at his mouth for he is the messenger of the lord of hosts that's the work of a priest kiswahili saba kiswahili saba inasema mm kwa maana ya mpasa kwa maana ya pasa midomo ya kuhani ihifadi maarifa tena ya wapasa watu kuitafuta sheria kinywani mwake kwa kuwa yeye ni 
mjumbe wa Bwana wa majeshi. That is it. That is how a priest atakiwa kuwa. Watafute hmm? sheria kinywani cha nani? Sab- cha kuhani. Kuhani. Lakini sasa kuhani ndiye anaenda amekuwa kombo kombo, kombo, kombo wa kuegemea upande mmoja. Kwa hivyo hawezi saidi. Hawezi saidia. Hivyo ndivyo wana wa Israeli walikuwa. Na hiyo ndiyo iliwapelekea kuwa sasa wewe hii proverb haitasaulika kwa kwao. So hapo ndipo Kristo anasema many will say to me in that day Lord Lord have we not prophesied in thy name and in, and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works but he'll tell them I never I knew. never knew you I never knew you ni kwa sababu hii mambo yote tunasoma it is exactly happening unto the new testament we have reached the same point where these people were be it the priests be it the congregant be it the pastors preachers each and every person no one is in line now there needs to be a very big reformation in this world of the church of christ otherwise things are not going to yani to work well with this church so god willing we shall come and continue from there from verse 47 and see what happens after that amen amen